welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. Hello. Let's see if I can actually get the. There uh, we are. Hello. The podcast going. Well, welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. I need a I need a duster or whatever the opposite of fluffer when they wipe <laughs> your brow off. That's a chick. That's what no, they do. No, it chick, doesn't chick have to be. Hey, it was Gay Pride weekend in L.A. this weekend, so yeah, it could be anybody. All right. Oops. But uh, when they bra- when they wipe your brow off. So, yeah. There you go. All right. Well, so hot here. That's all I'm saying in yep. L.A. Well, Gene, it's so hot in L.A. that we actually moved. We took oh. a trip to. Oh, I see. Oh, we're we're at the track and field. To, uh, we're we're at. No, the, we're at the home of the loggers. Oh, the baseball field of the loggers, the lacrosse loggers. Oh, I didn't know. Is that a? Is that and a? And they so graciously let us uh, broadcast live Thank from you, their lacrosse. field. What? Well, Gene, you know I'm such a big celebrity in lacrosse, Wisconsin. That I, know, uh, you I, know, heard. I, I make the phone call to the mayor. Yeah. And uh, I get a quick response. Nice. Who are so, they affiliated uh, with? The I loggers. Have no idea. <laughs> When I when I was a I've kid, never been to a loggers game actually because they were there after oh. I I left. So when I, well when I was growing up we used to go to the Dubuque Packers. Oh yeah. And they were the uh, single A team for the Houston Astros. Do they have a big G <laughs> as their logo? G, who? G like Green Bay? <laughs> the big G? Uh, no. You know, like oh no no no. You, Wait, you know Georgia? Yes. It, it's it's a it's a ripoff. Oh okay. Of the G oh, of yeah, the Green I Bay. See. Hey I saw Aggies. Well anyway. We they they played down by the river, the and then they there were so many fish flies and and mosquitoes and it was it was kind of nasty down there. So they stopped playing and they moved. You, you, oh, I saw a guy. You, you have to bat four hundred with yeah. the flies. Oh to my survive. gosh! Right down on the river. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I used to go to games. I saw a guy wearing uh, Green Bay shorts and a Green Bay shirt today in Hollywood. Okay, pride so parade. Pretty good. No, I, this was just him with his family walking down Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Okay. I well. didn't. I didn't go. <laughs> I've been to the Gay Pride Parade. I, uh, I, Jim, I when I you see people go. wearing like Iowa stuff or Bears yeah. stuff, or do you Bears say, "Hey, Chinese. Bears, hey, Iowa," do you say that? Well, or I, yeah, because I wear I, I, every day. I'm usually either wearing Iowa stuff or Cubby stuff, and uh, yeah, so, people. So I people say are approaching to you, right? Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, "Oh, how you doing, pal?" Hey, the Cubs are coming to town. Let's get it fired up. I don't, uh, you know, <clears throat> whenever I see someone wearing like a, a Green Bay shirt or hat, right. or well, well, first of all, they're probably Hispanic and they probably just got the shirt for free from Goodwill. Oh, I see. And they don't know where that's, Green Bay is. That is, I, I don't you know, think Los that's, their, that's assuming or that's. And then, second of all, you know, yeah. I, I I don't say, hey, Green Bay, I'm from Wisconsin or whatever, because because they're probably a loser. What? They're probably not a cool person, so oh I probably. My God. Yeah, it's it's great that they're a fan, but right, I mean, right, it's probably right. I, who wears that sort of stuff out. I, mean, I don't well, know. Present yeah. company excluded, mm. of course. Hey, all right. Well, Gene, we okay. should say the name of the show. Oh, uh, yeah. It's called the Midwest Sports Hello. Show. Gene, we work so hard on this show. Yeah. Might as well say our names as okay. well. My name is uh, Chris Dots, and then that's Gene Steigen. Thanks I, for being with us. Since I saw you last, I've never been high. I've never smoked pot in my life. No, nothing. But I think I almost got high at the Grateful Dead. You got a concert. contact high. Well, let's let's update us. Everybody, on you know. And then I was telling someone. Someone go, "Well, it is legal in California. It is not legal to smoke in public at a concert in the whole stadium. Eighteen thousand people. The concert was great. John Mayer, fantastic. And Bill Walton was there. He was there both nights. He was rebounding. He was up front. He, he was so. both nights. What about you? Why you were both nights? No, I was only there the first night. But they, How I, do you I know, know? I was there the second. They kept showing him. Man, oh, okay. if you're standing behind him, good luck. But man, they, they, did they play the same set list? I wonder I, if you. I think they mixed or it up. Is everyone so stoned they can't remem- remember? Yeah, and it's a long cut, three and a half hours. I don't think I, three and a half hours. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think the Grateful Dead. I don't know. I think you'd about be them. grateful to be dead. They just after hour know, three. They just play songs and they're great. They're really great. But it, it, they could play anything, and these songs go on forever. They just go on and on and on. And then the guy next to me, he was in his 60s. He was smoking pot, and he kept offering it to me. I was like, I'm, I'm okay there, bub. And, and then the guy in front of me, kept, I was like, I'm okay. And Damn. then the guy next to me in his 60s who was smoking pot, he passed out about uh, two hours in. And yeah. uh, he just sat next to me, passed out. So it, right. is, it was a great concert. But I was, well, Gene, I, uh, I was just thankful Hollywood Bowl has a curfew, 11 o'clock, because I yeah. knew they couldn't go past 11. So I was kind of thankful <laughs> for that. Gene, you could have you went home. 
And they would, to... they would, they could have, with one of those bands, they would have played for six so, hours. I think. Yeah. And, uh, all right. So, Gene, there was uh, quite a lot of people. I even was in Hollywood around that time. Oh, yeah, that that's time. right. Yep, yep. And I saw a lot of uh, young people wearing yeah. Grateful Dead shirts, and I probably would have just realized, man, what's going on here? But then I, I realized that you were going to that concert, so it yeah. made sense. It made a little bit more Although sense. Although I didn't wear uh, any dead head stuff. There's a kid, there's a uh, husband and wife behind me, and they brought, I think the kid must have been eight years old. I'm thinking, is this really the best environment for this nope. laddie? Well, hey, he was packing the bolt. <laughs> I know. He's got those there small so fingers to pack I, the bolt. I could look down. It was just all smoke. And nobody cared, which is fine. I'm all for it. I mean, whatever. That's no, fine. But, no. hey, I'm all for that Grateful Dead. But let's uh, let's have a little uh, tolerance for the uh, Los Angeles Symphony Orchestra. Huh? Yeah, right, right. I mean, well, it, it should not have nothing to do with the, the, the band. It should Sat- be the venue, right? Saturday, yeah. Smoke Sat- up, Hollywood Saturday, Bowl. Saturday, I'm going to John Legend in the Hollywood Bowl Orchestra, so I don't think there'll be as much uh, weed putt. And you then know, Andre Bocelli next did week. Did you uh, – oh, this t- – I don't think t- tons of Tons of weed there. Yeah. Uh, um, did you bring a bottle of wine? I did not. I, I was good. So no. can you uh, – so help me out here because, uh, again, Hollywood Bowl is just kind of this yeah, uh, yeah. amphitheater, right? That's what you call it, like yep, a Greek yep, amphitheater? Yep, yep, it yep. goes up a hill. And it's got kind of like yep, a stage and all yeah. that stuff. And it's got a it's – Dome, and like people, dome. people to protect the uh, musicians, but not the uh, audience. Right, so. right. Uh, and then you know, it's very like a picnic kind of atmosphere. Oh yeah, even you can bring. They they never seats. change that. You bring. Well, they do have some garden boxes where you sit. But you got pay for those. Though, right? Oh, those are really expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I've, you know what? I've actually, because uh, m- one of my friend's friend uh, worked at the Hollywood Bowl, mm-hmm. I've actually sat at those. Very overrated. Very yeah, overrated exactly. because. You're all kind of p- pinched together. Yeah, exactly. You're super, and then it's hard to get in and out and all this other stuff. And yeah, so overrated. I like where I sit. I sit uh, in the section closest to the garden box, <laughs> but I'm on a bench. Yeah, you're I, all on I'm, I'm sure the Midwest loves these uh, <laughs> Hollywood Bowl takes. Yeah, you know, t- t- talk more about the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> all right, whatever. no, 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 no. Let's keep on going. No, I'm going um, to 17 shows this summer, so I, l- I, I love the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. I saw, but uh, you can bring anything you want in there. Yeah. So, but can you bring your own bottle of wine and yes. open it, or because I know I saw there's like a cork fee so oh, i think I you still know. have to do the court am Maybe. i right about that i don't know i'm probably talking to the wrong guy i don't think you can bring about glass that? bottles no nah, you can bring <laughs> what bring uh, a box of wine <laughs> i don't know do you okay, think bill Walton br- brought a they box of wine? bring in it. i don't know okay I'll, I'll do more research okay well next time Next time, yeah, you can bring in liquor and just re- well, Gene. I know you can bring in whatever you want to the loggers game. Oh yeah, the loggers uh, in uh, Wisconsin. We still have some rights, even though uh, not that many left. Um, but Gene, uh, we're here to talk about the Midwest sports oh, okay. scene. I see. So I got a soft track. I my apologies. It's okay. Everyone, all the people back in the Midwest, they want to know what we're doing. Oh, I'm seeing the Phantom of the Opera Thursday. Jesus, didn't you already just see that? Yeah, I'm going twice in the next two weeks. Oh. So and, what's that guy's deal? He's like a he's like a troll or something like that. What, he, he's he's defigured, and yeah. he, just, he just lives in he an lives opera in house. The opera house. So what is and the he chick? Wears a mask. What is she doing there? She's uh, she's renovating. I think she's a singer for that new show at the opera house, and he haunts the place kind of. So he, but he, they, so he's not haunting the other musicians. Well, they 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 fall in love, and then he he takes his mask off at one point, and, and then it's she, not good. And then she uh, that, that's the end of the play. Me. No. They, they go, She's like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too bad it wasn't like in the modern day period, right? right? Too bad it's and, in the 1800s. We can that, do uh, some plastic surgery, right? I know. I Oh, he's pretty disfigured. So that's, but I'm, I bought tickets to see it twice because I know I'm going to love it. And then uh, the Cubs are in town as well. And next Sunday, Sunday night baseball. And I was, I, that's the night I'm going to see training Goo Goo Dolls. Oops. Training Google Dolls? Tra- a double act train, the band Train, and, uh, and the band Google Dolls. Okay, Google Dolls is a real band. I thought it's it was a like a Train's tribute. Train's a really big time band. Uh, maybe it's before my time. No, they're they're right in your time. They're, <laughs> they're right in there. Yep. All right. Well, uh, so what, the Cubs are playing the Dodgers then? Yeah. They're going to the Dodgers? Mm. So right, I'm gonna have to, so I won't be able to go to Sunday Night Baseball. And then Saturday, I'm going to the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, so they're playing the Dodgers on Sunday Night Baseball? Yeah. I can't. Wh- why aren't you going to be there, Gene? Because I, I bought tickets for training Google Dolls before they announced give the them, Give them to uh, Mimi. Yeah, but the the problem is that the concert's in Orange County. And <laughs> uh, I Gene, it's know. the Cubs. How many times do you get to see the Cubs play well, Sunday Night Baseball? I Last time I saw them on Sunday Night Baseball, 
Jake Arietta threw a no hitter. There you go. See? And I was there. So yeah. And you're gonna what, the Google Dolls ain't gonna throw a no hitter, Gene. I don't. I don't. I don't I, care how many baseballs oh they got. Oh my gosh! If concert. I could have a do over on this one, yeah, but. Um, All right, well, you know, there's StubHub. Put your stuff on StubHub. Mm, no, I'm going to go to the concert and watch a game on my phone. There we go. <laughs> That'll be exciting. Just like uh, I'll see, I'll see the Cubs play Thursday. Sure, the Google or Dolls appreciate that. Yeah, they've been um, a long, long time. All right, well, Gene, speaking about the Cubs, right. Cubbies, big Win news. Six one on their home trip, home schedule. Big yeah. news. Why isn't this? Uh, oh, you know oh, what I'm doing? Kimbrel. Big news. Cubs added. Not only did they win, uh, did they sweep St. Louis this past weekend. Stick it to the a Cardinals. Thumping. That's a thumping. Hey, the Cubs have swept the Cardinals twice now. I thought uh, I thought the Cardinals were going to pay back Chris Bryant for oh, saying St. I, Louis was a boring city. They did that in St. Louis. They beat the Cubs in St. Louis, but not, yeah, right. So what, was the series in St. Louis or no, it was in no, Chicago? No, this right? one was in Ch- Last week they played in St. Louis and the Cardinals swept the Cubs. And oh, okay. now they come back to paybacks of bitch, bitches. Oh, Oops, sorry that's about true. That. All right, so they did sweep uh, the Cardinals. Uh, good for them. Uh, I have no problem with the. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's unfortunate it's the Cubs, but I'll, anytime someone sweeps the uh, Cardinals, I'll uh, go for it. But that was the only prize for the oh. week for the weekend. Wow. Uh, Kimbrel, what's this guy's first name by the way? Craig. Craig Kimbrel. Right. Kimbrel. Kimbrel. Uh, who was a basically a free agent forever. Yes, yes. And nobody wanted to sign him because they didn't want to lose a first-round pick. Right. That's what would How happen. does that even work? He was a free agent, but if you sign him, you lose a first-round pick? Yeah, because Boston tendered him. Oh, uh, okay. That's Remember? Honest. So Boston tendered him for $17.8 million, I think it was, and the Cubs are only paying him $10 million this year. So you can just like tender a player and be like, "Yo, if anyone else wants to pick him up, uh, yeah, we get your ro- you, we get your pick." Yeah, your first round. All if right, he's the first, I, he's the first. But the problem is, I, you're 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 on the hook for him for seventeen million dollars well, if, if he signs. Gene, I think uh, I think it's time we fix this crazy baseball I, I know. free agency. And that's no why nobody going on. nobody wanted to touch him because they didn't want to give up the draft pick. Right, and then even in baseball, what you're gonna give up a draft pick? But you, I mean, baseball is not like football or I basketball. Know, but it's the first such round picks long are shot. Valuable, I, I know. suppose, huh? Yeah. Well, Cubs, Cubs why would you not want to get like an ace as opposed to uh, yeah. maybe an ace later on? But uh, and plus he was kind of shaky. But man, it's so exciting did for they, Chicago. Did he pitch already this week? No, he's oh, okay. he's gonna he hopefully he'll be pitching in two or three weeks. <laughs> what? Well, kinda, was he not working out? Or he what? said he was working out at a high school. I don't know. Get him out there. I'm ready. Well, listen. When you're bad or when you're pitching against uh, 16 year olds, yeah. Uh, I, I guess the talent level is he hasn't a, uh, pitched loader. in seven months, and he, he didn't. Do you know what? When the when the Boston won the World Series, he wasn't their closer. You remember Chris Sale closed out their winning game. I think. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Wow. So what? <laughs> Jesus. He's a professional <laughs> athlete. He couldn't like maintain He's a, a uh, Hall regimen. He's on already, but I don't know. Hopefully, oh please, Chris Craig, be good, be good for the Cubs. We need you. All right. So, but well, you're pretty excited. How much? By the yeah. way, how much are they paying him? Ten million. Ten million. Jeez. Three years, forty three million. They had to do three year deal. But that's right. pretty cheap. That's, that's pretty I good think. for like an ace, right? He's yeah. Got well, I mean, he's a he's a washed he's up closer. Ace? He's a yeah. closer. Yeah. Oh, Keiko okay. got signed too. He's the ace. He's the pitcher. He's, but Kimbrough's. He's he was the best reliever for a couple of years, but hopefully oh, with uh, in the Indians, right? Was no, he Boston. Mostly. Oh, was he always with Boston? Okay, I'm I don't know if he was always with them, but he <sighs> was great for Boston. I don't follow the American League, so yeah. I, I don't know. I yeah. Don't know. All right, well, speaking of Boston, now this has nothing to do with... Uh, oh, my um, gosh, Big Poppy. This has nothing to do with this, Midwest. This but, story's uh, taking a turn. This is a pretty crazy well, he story. He used to play in Minnesota. Oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. So there yeah. is the Midwest connection. Um, kind of a disturbing story out of uh, Dominican Republic, the Domin- Dominican Republic. Uh, David Ortiz shot. Oh, my God. A robbery gone wrong. Shot. Um, I- Initial yeah. reports were that he got shot in the leg, but it turns out that was his homie. Oh, they got shot in the leg, and he actually got shot through the abdomen. Ooh, through the abdomen. There was an exit and an entry wound, so it went in and out. And apparently, he uh, he had surgery. Um, there's doctors in uh, San Juan, Dominican I guess so. Republic. And then they then they shipped him off to Boston. Oh, uh, do they? Well. He had parts of his intestines removed. Uh, his liver was damaged. They like, said it wasn't that serious. And then they bad. said he lost half his organs in there, whatever's yeah. going on in there. It sounds serious to me. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I, call me crazy, Gene, but uh, I, I won't call I, you crazy. I lose some of my small intestines, and yeah. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade it to serious. They go, oh, you lose your your gallbladder or whatever. Else. Oh yeah, so gallbladder. Them, it's gotta be it's gotta be there for a reason. Yeah. Right? Why, why do we have a gallbladder, by the way? Do you know? I don't know. I think digest stuff. for like stones or something. Could be. Who knows? All right. Um. But did you see yeah, this? Story? Oh, you already know this. Story. So what did he go to? Okay, no. So they sent him off to Boston I for better care. I don't know if they him up there yet. Okay. But, well, yeah. what story? What are you talking about? Oh, that now they said it was a hit by drug kingpin. Really? Because is that what they're really saying? They said uh, what I read now. Okay, this yeah, this is what it said today. He was cheating on his wife with the drug kingpin. Oh my gal, god! And the and the drug kingpin sent out his two henchmen to to whack him. And well, those two guys got Jesus. arrested. Jesus. Well, Gene, that's why they call him Big Poppy. Yeah. I guess. Because Poppy is like a, in the Hispanic culture. Yeah. It's like a big dude with like a, that sleeps around, because I guess. Because he's beloved down there. So. Yeah. But you don't want to get on the wrong side of a kingpin. Yeah. Him a and uh, him and Marvin Harrison should get together. He should yeah. take some lessons from Marvin Harrison and uh, learn how to stay away from the limelight. Maybe it turned out it's all a robbery, but that's what I... What, right. Where did you read that on no, uh, TMZ? No, I think it's on, it's on ESPN okay. uh, or TMZ. Maybe. Well, Gene, you know, again, this was in the, the Dominican Republic. Right. And just like when Gene Segura lost his kid. Oh. And Gene Segura, he used to play for the Brewers. Oh, now okay. he plays for Philly. He's All playing right. really well. Okay. He was traded. Right. Um, He lost his kid in the, I don't know if it was the Dominican Republic or one of those Caribbean nations. But uh, uh, Dave, David, David. Oh. You're a millionaire. Right. And you're probably partial citizenship for the United States. Yeah. How about how about you stay in America, essay? Huh? Right. Stay, how about that? St- yeah. Hide out in Omaha. Where my yeah, friend Jim is. Yeah. You, you left on. the Dominican Republic for a reason. How about you stay here and not get shot? Yeah. How about that? I. It's scary. I don't. Hey, hey use... David. Uh, any guy in Boston will let you fuck his wife. Oh. Okay. My. We you might be spreading spreading gossip. That's you don't have to go to the DR. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> well, well it's, it, was a, it was a great day in Boston yesterday because the uh, Bruins won game six. So now it comes down to winner take all in the NHL. Boston versus St. Louis, go Blues. But then they had to deal with the big poppy news. Yeah. Well, uh, not good. Not good. No. All right. And then we just have some other odds and ends for uh, uh, baseball think. to go over. Uh, Hernan Perez, uh, mm. Milwaukee Brewer. Oh, I see. Um, they got shelled. By the way, Gene, you're talking sixteen talk- nothing. You're talking about the Marlins. The Marlins are a pretty good team. I know the Cubs. But the they Cubs swept, swept right? them. The Cubs beat them four nothing, four games none down there, and then they beat them. Or they the swept Cubs them, won they? six six out of seven games against them. No, altogether. didn't they get swept? Didn't they? Because they lost no. a bunch of games to the Marlins, did they? Or no, two? the Cubs. Cubs. Right. Cubs swept them in, but the Cubs beat them when they were still bad. So that's right, lucky you. Well, yeah. they uh, almost destroyed the uh, the Packers. I'm sorry, the Brewers. Uh, they know. won two out of three, including one 16 run game. Wow. And uh, Hernan Perez, uh, he's got a little pitching skills, so mm. he's a position player. He got, went out on the mound, and uh, he actually looked up pitching stances. During uh, in, in the dugout in the in the clubhouse, and uh, recreated some uh, pitching stances uh, on the mound. Wow! Did all his favorites. He, he did, did. Uh, Bronson Arroyo. Wow! With the big leg kick. Mm. Um, he did uh, Johnny Cueto. Oh. With the shimmy. Yeah. And uh, I think he had a uh, one, two, three inning. Yeah, so, he did. Uh, he there did. You go. He he was the only one that was good. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> he was the best pitcher that night. Yeah, the Marlins are so terrible forever, but they've been on a really good streak. So I'm glad the Cubs didn't have to play. Hey, Don Mattingly. Although the people, Cubs have to play two really good teams. Come people on. forget Don Matt. People forget that Don Mattingly was a good hitter. Oh, who's yeah. forgetting that? Who, who forgets that? No, he one? was borderline. He was almost Hall of Famer. Never Isn't played he in the World Series. Oh, yeah? No, nope, okay. never. The year before, the year the, he retired, the year before they won the World Series. Oh yeah. Very sad. I should just give him a ring. I know. <laughs> George, I know. I'm not going to give him a ring, right? Mm. All right. And then, uh, again, this is not really Midwest related, but it sort of is tangentially is. Oh. Uh, Gene, did you happen to see Max Muncy hit a home run off uh, Madison Bumgarner? Yes, I did. I was actually uh, watching the game yesterday. a little bit yesterday. Then I saw the highlights. Well, it was actually the first, first inning. So, basically, Max Muncy from the Dodgers were yeah. in uh, San Francisco playing the Giants. Noah Bum- Bumgarner uh, pitching. 
And uh, the first inning, Max Muncy just drills wow. a home run. It actually gets way into the cove, into the bay. Not an ocean, Max. Yeah. No well, hey, he's right. a baseball player, not a, ge- <laughs> not, not a cartographer, Gene. He didn't, uh, he didn't but, hit it in the ocean. But, he, but. you know, he, he did kind of stand for a second. Yeah, and, it was uh, pretty cool what he did. No, a bump grinder uh, took a little obsession. I loved it because I, I was Took a little obsession in that. I mean, he was Bumgarner. As soon as uh, Muncy hit it, Bumgarner is walking towards him. Yeah, he, and then he, uh, was great. he starts saying, uh, "I suppose now this is what we're hearing from Max Muncy." Uh, Bumgarner was telling, "Don't watch the ball run." Yeah, and then M- Max Muncy gave him the uh, "Come and get me," you know, or right, "Come right, on, right. come on over if you want." And uh, apparently, he told them, uh, "If you want to look at the ball, go grab it from the ocean." <laughs> um, I, I I got a feeling he didn't say that, Gene. I, that's a little bit too perfect, I guess. Yeah, right? it was pretty. It was pretty and, awesome. And plus, do you think No actually heard that with all those fans screaming right, and all right. that stuff? So probably yeah. not. Uh, but Bumgarner, oh. Gene, what a little bitch! Oh, come on! This whole this whole intense. I know. Thing and he's play by school. the rules. He's and all a this young stuff. guy too. He's only, I think he's it's only six season, right? Yeah, it's probably pretty six early. Or, or probably six or seven. I think he's twenty eight. So he's kind of a young guy to be so such a hard ass. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no. If some guy crushes you, I know. Take your medicine and uh, put your head down and wait for the next batter. And by the way, uh, hit him next time. Yeah. Did you see the next at bat? I did not see that. I did so. not. No, oh, no, I didn't see it. But it no. was even. Cl- I mean, the the umpire kind of went over and uh, kind of told him to shut yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I wonder if he told him, yeah, if you get anywhere near his head, next time he's up, you're out of here. Right. So right. I don't know about that. But mm-hmm. uh, anyways, uh, you know, the Brewers were talking about picking up Bumgarner last year. He's good. No, no. Get. I don't want a little. I want Whoa. a little bitch like that. We don't. Why? We don't have a little bit. We, in in uh, the. By the way. A locker room cancer. Can you imagine that guy being on the Brewers? Wait a second. And having all these kids, uh, telling these kids to shut up or glaring at I'm all the kids having you, fun. You, I would love him on my, you would, <laughs> oh my gosh. Chris Bryant would hate that guy. You would love him on the team. Sure. Well, yeah. Yeah, uh, I want to see an ESPN commercial with him and Chris Bryant and Rizzo. Let's see. Hey, uh, fun way, fun for the whole the family. Cubs, they, their theme road trip. So the Cubs, when the they rodeo? go to Denver, yeah, they're ro- they, they do theme road trips. And this one was uh, Cowboys. See, I, who, who, by the way, who goes out and buys these clothes for these guys? I mean, I, uh, I don't know. This is half so, your morning. Yeah, the game's sure. at uh, six o'clock, and you're going to be buying cowboy clothes all morning. Yeah, who's yeah, that? So that Cubs, nice, that nice effort you, there. That was you, Darvish. You Darvish uh, is wearing a T-shirt, just like the old yeah, West, and yeah. a cowboy so, hat. There you go. But I, I I'm telling you, Bumgarner, he's a he's a gamer. Get him. <laughs> you don't want him. Oh, I no, I want him. him. He's he's cancer. He's going to get traded. Everyone right. hates him. I know, not but to the Brewers. I would want him on the Brewers. He could win you the World <laughs> Series by himself. Mm, not he, if he gives up home runs. Well, he actually that was the only that run was he, the gave, only up, run he so. gave up. But he's his record's not very good this year. Yeah, like three and seven. Well, Gene, you know, after that ATV accident, no one's ever the same. Oh, you know what I mean? right. So. Yeah. Not good. All right. Hey, yeah. by the way, you won a freaking truck for being the MVP in the World Series. How about you drive that instead of the ATV? Huh? Oh, nice. How about that, Noah? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, All right. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move on. Okay, so that's baseball. Yeah. Um, good, 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 good stuff between the the Cubbies and the Brewers, and also the White Sox. Wow, what? they're they're pretty good. And Jolito, their pitcher. The White Sox are good. Yeah, they're pretty deep. They're almost five hundred. Aren't they but, ten games below the? <laughs> freaking, no, they're they're the two pu- games uh, under five hundred. No, they're about twenty games behind the Twins. Yeah, so <laughs> the Twins are great. Well, I mean, look at their division. It's terrible. Yeah, 12, 12 games behind uh, Minnesota. But Gelato, Gelato, uh, their their pitcher, he's he's amazing. I love Gelato. I love G- the uh, Gilato, the mint. I'm not mint Gelato. Right. Yeah, whatever. double scoop. Hey, the Brewers are the Twins. <laughs> All right, Brewers be- won. Uh, they swept the uh, what do you call it? <coughs> pirates. Yeah, they swept the Pirates. Nice little victory for them. Oh yeah. So speaking about the Pirates, I almost forgot this. Andrew McCutcheon, oh uh, who was gosh. traded to uh, Phillies from well, – actually, I think it was a free agent. I could be wrong about that. Yeah. But he was with the Giants. And, uh, hey, by the way, ask Kutch about Noah. Ask him if he's a cancer or not. Um, tore his ACL Did the other day. Did you see the play? No, nah, I – He I, got I, tricked. I can't watch plays like that. It was a uh, it was in a rundown, though, right? Yeah, but he – it was an infield fly. He was on first base, and it was an infield pop-up. And so McCutcheon didn't stay in first base, which he should have. And the guy just let it drop. What? Is the guy, the second baseman, just let it drop in front of this? him. He got the guy, uh, just threw the guy to first, 
Dude, I'm sorry, that, but did and they? Then, and then McCutcheon got in a rundown. Did they repeal the inflated fly rule that or something? That's how he got hurt. Isn't this? Uh, it was a pop. This already, this already happened with Rizzo. Like, he what was, is going on? He was on first base. It was a pop up, and the guy just let it drop right in front of him, threw the first to get the guy at first, and then they they got McCutcheon in a rundown. I don't, what, and that's how he got hurt. I mean, even even a fifth grader knows about I, the infield fly rule. Like, right, what right. Manfred? What is going on? I don't know. I'll tell you what, Gene, this would never happen under Bud Selix. No, or uh, Bart Giamatti. Yeah, Paul's fan. Yep. Mm. What about Poor the Bears? Guy. All right, oh, so Bears. it's football. Uh, Gene, this past weekend it was very exciting. The Bears' 100th anniversary yes. celebration. Yes, I'm going to be there when they kick off the season, hopefully. Um, so this, ticket prices so what, what was scared. even the event? Like, they brought a bunch of Bears, All old the Bears. Bears from the past they are still alive. Uh, and they had but a, was they Jay had Culler? Weekend. Was he invited? He, yes, I'm sure he was. They did a top 100 list of all-time Bears. And, uh, let, me, I, let, let me guess who's number one. I'm going to say, I will say, actually, oh, Gail, okay. Gail Sayers. No, probably Walter number. Payton. Uh, come G- on. Gail Sayers is, Gail Sayers is g- listen. I think, I think Gail Sayers is third. Dick Buck is his second. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Oh, Gail All Sayers. Right. But they had to wheel him out. You know, yeah, he had dementia. He, yeah, he was, I, I heard it was pretty sad. Yeah, uh, but he, he was, was there. But Jake Cutler. Well, did, sure did Ryan Piccolo wheel him out or what happened? <laughs> Didn't you see the movie? Brian didn't no, make he's it. Dead. He didn't. Okay. But uh, Jake yeah, well, where was Brian dead. Piccolo on the top one? I was he even on the list. Uh, no, he didn't make it. <laughs> oh my god, Cutler made it. What a morally corrupt like franchise. Oh, uh, Erlacher, you know all those guys. <laughs> what about Erlacher's toupee? What, what what was he on the <laughs> ranking? He he was two spots behind <laughs> the Erlacher. Like the one. But so they did. Uh, Jim McMahon was there. Jim McMahon. Yeah, and uh, so very, very fun. Did you? I mean, was it on TV or something? Yeah, like that? Yeah, they showed clips. No, I don't know. I just saw some clips on Twitter. It was pretty cool, though. It was a big turnout. And then uh, Matt Nagy, their coach, was there he was talking. Well, they had a huge turnout from fans. A lot stuff. of uh, a lot of choice quotes, a lot of stories oh. uh, coming from uh, the uh, the event. Mm-hmm. Including uh, Jim McMahon, as you uh, mentioned, right, right, uh, offered uh, Mitch Trubisky some advice on playing quarterback in Chicago, right. Although uh, you know it was kind of kept secret, you know it's man to man, you know, it, you know, Gene. There's uh, you talk about the quarterback for the Dallas uh, Cowboys, yeah, bullshit compared to the uh, quarterback for the uh, Chicago Bears. Oh yeah, that that's, that's the number one job in America, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, again, we don't know exactly what it was, but uh, I'm guessing it's probably something about uh, uh, calling Tyrone over on 92nd Street. He's got just the trick to help you with those headaches. Mitch, uh, that's the advice. Jim's doing better these days. He gave my, he did give uh, Trubisky a headband and uh, sunglasses, <laughs> and he put them on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know who was not invited? Was oh. uh, John Fox. Yeah, he wasn't there. And there were some choice quotes on him. Thank God John Fox asses out of town. Hall of Fame defensive lineman Dan Hampton said during a weekend event held in connection, blah, blah, blah. Thank God. Uh, former Bears safety uh, Gary Fensick. By the way, do you, I've never heard of these guys before. So. Gary Fensick was on the 85 Bears. He okay. played uh, safety, I believe, for was them. So I, Slightly more measured and diplomatic. I find it refreshing. I like John Fox, but John Fox didn't treat fans with respect. Uh, and I'm a Bears fan. I'm a season ticket holder. And I was kind of like, you don't deserve to know. or No, no. And he, it was kind of like, you don't deserve to know. Or I'm not going to give you a lot of information. What I really like about uh, Nagy is I think he recognized and respect that fans aren't idiots. Yeah. There you go. Nagy's well, great with the fans and the press. He's pretty fantastic. Well, uh, Mr. Uh, Fen- Fensick. Uh, I've known a lot of Bears fans, and I'm going to have to uh, disagree Uh-oh. with that uh, quote about Bears fans being idiots. I know a lot mm. of them. Uh, and by the way, Gene, uh, Bears fans were angry that John Fox didn't elaborate on the game plans, oh. on the plans that much. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that the real I reason? I don't know. He was a, How about all those losses? How about that? Yeah. Yeah. It was a disaster. He, so, he, so Bears fans were mad that mm, uh, John Fox were, n- were not giving up the game plan? That's right. I'll tell you what, Gene. Uh, good thing uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower <laughs> never coached the Bears. We never would have won uh, World War II. WW2. Yeah. There you go. Yep. By the way, it was D-Day uh, oh, last I week. Oh, I know. I know. By the way, D-Day should be the only national holiday that we have, by the way. That's a big one. All right. So, you know, that's so go Bears. Bears. September 5th, uh, the season kicks off. In Chicago, Bears-Packers. All right. Well, we got some retirements. 
and some uh, former uh, superstars of the uh, <laughs> NFL North, including uh, Jordy Nelson. Oh, the NFC North. That the NFC is, North. That does include Toronto. Are you rooting for Toronto, by the way? What, the Raptors? Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, sure, well, yeah. Okay, we're, Toronto's, yeah, uh, Toronto's the Midwest of Canada. Yep. Okay. Well, it's right across, uh, isn't it right across the river from uh, Detroit? Yeah, the I think so. Or is that? Uh, oh, no, it's up by New York. There's something across the river from Detroit. It's like a bunch of gambling stuff, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. one. It's not Winnipeg, right? But uh, yeah, Toronto's near. Anyways, I he's, anyways, I, I should know more. Uh, maybe Montreal's by. No, Toronto <laughs> might be there. Maybe New York. Maybe Montreal's by New York. I have no idea. No, Montreal's okay. further west. It's by Maine or somewhere. Oh, there. I see. All right, Jordy Nelson will sign a one deal right, deal right. to retire with the Packers. Oh, that's good. I guess all's Wait, well that ends well, huh? How about James? coming out? I I can't believe he can't play. Yeah, like, uh, how how would he be a wide receiver coach? How about that? Yeah. Huh? Come on, Jordy. Huh? Matt? Matt LaFleur? How about that? Oh, LaFleur? my gosh. All right, and then uh, another uh, former NFC star is talking about retirement. It hasn't uh, happened yet, but uh, Adrian Peterson. What? He's talking about how he's going to, where he's going to retire. This is where I started. This He's talking about retiring as a Viking. Oh. This is where it's going to come to an end as well, Peterson said. People ask me all the time, and they keep throwing me off, like, where would I retire? A saint, a cardinal, a redskin? It's like, mm. no, I'm going to retire a Viking. I was here a decade. Some great memories, ever everlasting, ever everlasting friends. I'm just forever indebted to the state of Minnesota. I'll definitely be retiring a Viking That's for a sure. two-way street. They got to invite you back to retire. Yeah, I don't, uh, Adrian, I don't, think it's I, your, I don't think it's your choice. Yeah, I'd be a little... Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, Gene, uh, yes. I want... I, I, w- I want to retire with the New England Patriots. How about uh, that? You're, you're not welcome there, Chris. All right. so, well, thanks uh, anyway. Well, AP. Yeah. Um, how about we compromise? How about we retire three of your kids for each team? How about okay. that? Huh? Spread uh, them out a little oh bit. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, how about this? Yes. How about we retire Adrian Peterson by shooting him from a cannon into the U.S. Bank's glass windows? How about that? <laughs> Can okay. we do that? Yeah, you can try. Why not? Okay, here well, I got a couple more here. Oh, I see. Uh, how about this? Who would have thought uh, you were done? The Vikings retire your number, and then every fan gets to whip your testicles mm. uh, with an electric cord. How about that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds fair? Yeah. That's a good one to go out on. Or is there more? I got one more. Oh, and uh, and also Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota, listen, you don't have to, uh, you know, be you don't have to be told you don't have to be told what to do by this abuser here. You, you don't. You don't have to be nice on this one. I know there's Minnesota nice. You don't have to be nice on this right, one. Right, right. You're going to be a jerk on this one, mm. Minnesota. All right, Minnesota, so you stand up and take him. Let right. him know how you feel. There you go. Man, I hope, hope AP's not listening to this. He's going to kick my mm. ass. All right. Um, all right, and then we got hoops, Gene. Who, oh, go Toronto. Hoops. I guess I'm on the Raptors side. Yeah, I'm, why not? Yep, of all course. Right. Well, Gene, uh, former – get some sad stories. Um, mm. Former Michigan guard C- Charles Matthews oh. suffered a tor- torn ACL at a workout for the Boston Celtics per ESPN's Traffic Express. <coughs> Brother, what do, you, what do you say to a guy who's uh, working out for you to be drafted and he uh, tears his ACL? Uh, uh, sorry about the knee. See you around yeah, in that's the draft. Right. You're done. Like, uh, yeah. Is there some sort of insurance policy he no. signs up for for the day or something? Nope. Do they at least pay for his plane ticket no. back home? No. See ya. That's it. Well, Gene, I know hindsight is twenty twenty, but uh, I don't think they should have been doing the Oklahoma ACL Terran drill. <laughs> A little bit dangerous. I thought they outlawed that. <laughs> yeah, I thought they did. Didn't they make that announcement last week? All right. Who knows? Uh, poor guy. Yep, but yeah, poor that's kid. where it goes. Uh, all right. And then uh, more NBA talk. We got the... Uh, I looked at Game tickets today. today. They're What's expensive. Toronto? Or yeah. <laughs> they're, they're Gene, in you got 35 million Canadians are competing with. Oh, my gosh. And when's the last time a, a Canada team won a title? All right, no. Yeah. Two won that Well, year. I mean the uh, CFL, I mean, to be fair, right? Oh, well, all right. But by the way, when's the last time a uh, hockey team in Canada yeah, has won, that's right? that's what I'm saying. Montreal Canadiens won in 93, the same year the Blue Jays won Toronto. So Canada, baseball. Canada, you're, uh, you're lagging. Maybe back in that's the 80s. All, that's a hockey. That You couldn't be more of a hotbed than Canada, and they haven't won in 26 years. The yep. whole country. Well, mm. they're probably, just, you know, just like the old uh, baseball teams would trade their best players. I think Canada's doing the same thing, you know. Yeah. I think they're uh, trading high mm. and uh, selling low. They're selling high, buying low. 
Yeah, yeah. Why not? All right, so do you have any predictions? I mean, I I, I, I hope say, Toronto wins. Yeah, oh, okay. The fans have been really great, and they're going to lose Kawhi anyway. So they are. I, gonna, is this his one season or what? I, well, who do I? Nah, I'm right? getting, they I don't know. Maybe. But did you see these uh, quotes from Kawhi He's Leonard? The Clippers. Did you see these quotes from yeah. Kawhi Leonard about uh, when he ever grabs a rebound? He says, uh, "Board man, board man got the rebound." You, you I, ever heard of this? No, I haven't. Bo- he's like, uh, board man. He just keeps on saying board man. I see. It's some story or something. It's on Deadspin, I know. Oh, okay. He's like, uh, b- board man making money. Mm. It's all the rebounds. Well, he's going to be making money for the Clippers. But Canada, I love the country. <laughs> Chokes him up. <laughs> yeah, it's a great. Uh, Have you been to I, Canada? Um, yeah, I was there in 1982. I was in Montreal. And I've been to Toronto. For what? Oh, when I w- used to do a uh, music drum corps oh. stuff. We were there. Great. Yeah, did you play at Eliwetta? We played at Olympic Stadium. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that was that where the uh, Expos were playing too? Yeah, that's where they used to Terrible play. Terrible stadium, <laughs> awful. Remember that thing? Well, it was or like a track. Well, no, but it was like a track and field, right? Converted to a baseball stadium. Yeah, it was uh, Olympic. They built it for the Olympics, and then. By the way, Gene, that was back in the day where they only built one stadium, as opposed to like six. Right, right. Like they do now. You, yeah. Like no wonder everyone's going to debt on these goddamn Olympic games. You're you're building ten stadiums. I know. That's why LA is going to get it right, hopefully, except for public transportation. And then their homeless population has increased by twelve percent this year. Mm, well, maybe we can get then. some homeless people digging. Uh, you know, building some uh, whatever. Yeah. 59,000 homeless. That's the size. Of, okay, 59,000 homeless people. Size of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, that's Dubuque, too, my hometown. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Uh, not when you walk around the streets of the city, Gene. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty it's crazy. Tent, it, we're living in tent city here. It's pretty. Yeah. It's it's not a joke. And no. well, But, Gene, tent cities are like cordon off. P- these people are just laying on I the uh, sidewalk. Yeah, it's uh, it's. And, Gene, as a taxpayer and someone who's pay rent and you got right. this uh, guy in a tent. Uh, by the way, making coffee in the morning because he's <laughs> jacked into a uh, power outlet somehow. Kind of makes me uh, – well, you know how they say the grass is always greener? Yeah. The uh, <laughs> the feces uh, oh, filth tent is always uh, browner, I guess, yeah. in this case. So. My famous home that f- favorite story, this woman, she she was living at a bus stop on Sunset, and she had to, she had to go number two, but she put a newspaper down. And then I, right, well, she just there and she, yeah. Gene, you can't, sh- you can't so. shit where you eat. Yeah. You know? So I thought that was very nice of her. Gene, you know, I've, no. I've, geez, geez, I cannot count on my hands the amount of times I've passed someone just taking a shit oh my on the sidewalk. Oh. It's, uh, I was walking around downtown this weekend. Some guy just taking a shit in the alley. Yeah. It's yep. pretty rough. Oh yep. Boy. And, uh, all right. Well, there you go, Gene. <laughs> well, the Olympics, <laughs> That's are, hoop, in twi- the Olympics are here in 2028. So you're all invited. All right. Can we just, uh, can we just do like China did and just get rid of all the homeless people for like a month? I wonder. Hopefully, we'll have more public transportation. We will by then. And then I don't know. What what does Beverly Hills do? Because if you ever go to Beverly Hills, right in the middle of all this homeless people in L.A., you don't see them there. That's for sure. Because the cops can actually uh, get rid of people. That's I what guess I so. They just round them up and take them. To, yeah. they, does Beverly Hills have their own uh, police department? Yes, they do. do they? There yeah. You go. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Jeez, I'll, yeah, hey, listen, I'll pay $1,000 more per year on my taxes. Just get rid of these homeless people, please. Mm. All right, I don't know what the solution the is. But, uh, no, affordable housing, which <laughs> they always talk about. Why do we vote on it? Then we Gene, then they raise our sales tax, and then they said affordable housing, and then they don't build it. Well, they but build they it, but they build like one building at yeah. the cost of $400 million and like 53 people. By the way, Gene, do you think that lady that was taking a shit at the bus stop, do you think she just needed a break on her rent? <laughs> you think if rent was only $600 a month, she would have yeah. been okay? Oh, I God. don't think so. It has nothing with housing. There's plenty right, of housing right. in L.A. Can't afford it. All right. All right. No, you know why homeless people are here? Why? Because there's a lot of people, a lot of money, and uh, yeah. the weather's nice, and there's a lot of garbage and a lot of free food in those garbage cans, and that's why people are here. Mm. They could be going other places, but it's free and it's cheap and it's here. Yeah. There right. you go. There you go. Um, hi, Gene. Well, Gene, it's uh, hot as hell. It is. And and so big week, uh, a lot of stuff. And the Cubbies are coming to town. That's the most important thing. Pretty exciting. So the weekend, right? Just yeah, the they're week? coming Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. All right, pretty exciting. Oh, my gosh. Please, Cubs, be able to split. The Dodgers are really good. Yeah, they are. They're, really they've only good. lost like 23, 25 my games. My gosh. I keep thinking, how the Cubs or the Brewers going to beat the Dodgers? They're maybe, I don't know. They're really good. Some injuries or something like that? Yeah. 
Mm. While the uh, Brewers are definitely going to have to pick someone up, like a pitcher or something like that in the middle of the season. Bumgartner! <laughs> nah, no thanks. All oh. right. Well, I think uh, we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. And uh, by the way, you can watch the show on uh, Gene's Facebook or mm. uh, YouTube. Just look up uh, Midwest Sports Show and uh, you should see it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're going to end it uh, right there. So let's Ooh. get the music going. Is it going? Oh my gosh! Cue the orchestra. There it is. There and we go. Bye. All right. So, for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Dots. See you next week. Bye. Bye.